Hey guys, um, today I'm going to do, um, a game theory on Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Now the marionette is back. Um, and basically only the marionette, because you can get the good ending, um, but you don't see the marionette's mask in the good ending. So his soul isn't free. Yeah, but that's for another that's for another game theory. And in the good ending, it proves that the um there the parts are dismantled um due to the purple guy because he's basically afraid of them. Afraid afraid of the dead children, which proves it in the minigame. Yeah, the, like, Dead Children minigame or something. I forgot what it was like, but... Uh, I remember. Um, yeah. So, when he dismantled them... Blah, blah, blah. Um, if you see this picture of the hallway, um, you see the puppet's mask, but you don't see it in the good ending. The Well, like... I couldn't get um, a picture of the puppet in the hallway because I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to have to settle for this picture. Um, if you don't know, um, he appear when the puppet appears in the hallway, the mask is still there. And... So, is this two, um, puppets? No, what I think is that the purple guy used to wear it be for protection, but, you know, um, the puppets, he doesn't, um, he doesn't, um, he doesn't get fooled by the mask. So I guess he tried to, that's when he tried to um, get into, find another mask or get into spring trap or whatever. So thank you guys for watching this game theory. Um, this time I didn't really need to do research. I just, um, Notice it noticed it when I was playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Um, I asked myself why is the puppet's mask still there and um he's in the hallway. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.